Life Fist has reported that the India specific enhancements have grown beyond the list of 13 enhancements that was originally agreed upon by India and France, which includes advanced communication systems, two additional custom sensor modes, and the installation of Indian electronic warfare equipment. The Indian Air Force's request for additional enhancements was accepted by Dassault Aviation, as it did not present a procedural cost overrun or time delay. These additional enhancements have already been integrated, and the India-specific Rafale is therefore an even more enhanced version of the fighter jet that India had finalized in the agreement. The process of upgrading the existing 35 Rafales with India-specific enhancements has already begun, and it will continue into 2023. Dassault Aviation has offered an improved Rafale F-4 standard with India-specific enhancements to the Indian Air Force for its MRFA program, which includes local production of 114 fighter jets in India with transfer of technology. According to officials from the Aeronautical Development Agency, a scale model of TED-BF is undergoing high-speed modeling to test the supersonic characteristics, and it is being conducted with internal funds by the DRDO. The officials also said that the TED-BF will achieve the milestone of preliminary design review by March 2023, and the clearance by Cabinet Committee on Security is expected by mid-2023, and the first prototype would be ready by mid-2025, and it could be inducted into the Navy by 2031. The officials also expressed confidence that the Navy will make a selection between Boeing F-A-18 and Dassault Aviation's Rafale Marine by end of December. Armoured Vehicles Nigam Limited has released a tender for the procurement of 118 units of Kanchan armour modules for the Arjun Mark 1A tanks, and the selected vendor must deliver 18 units by July 2023, next batch of 50 units by December 2023, and last batch of 50 units by December 2024. The protection of frontal arc of the Arjun Mark 1A tank is enhanced by the Kanchan armor, which is added as modules in the base structure of Halin turret structure. The Kanchan armor is able to defeat both armor-piercing fin-stabilized discarding sabot and high-explosive anti-tank warhead rounds. The DRDO has released a tender for the design and development of a laser-based ignition system for 155mm at AGS Howitzer, that must have a minimum laser life of 10,000 hours, and the expected delivery is four months from the date of the contract. The laser ignition technology will replace the primer-based firing system of the ATAGS, that will improve reliability affordability and safety, as there is no misfire no hang fire and lesser moving parts. Armament Research and Development Establishment has also carried out detailed studies to finalize various laser parameters which will be required for ignition. Documents also reveal that the testing of the laser-based ignition system on the ATAGS will happen in 14 weeks from the date of placement of supply order. India has reissued an OTAM warning over the Bay of Bengal region for a range of 2,200 km for the period between 23rd to 24th November, which is indicative of an upcoming test. While media reports points towards user trials of Agni Prime missile, but there is a high chance that it could be the K-5 SLBM, that was scheduled for its maiden test by end of 2022, which has sparked interest of the Chinese Navy. Interestingly, after Chinese missile and satellite tracking vessel Yuan Wang 6, another Chinese vessel Yuan Wang 5 has also entered the Indian Ocean region. India has also issued a new no-time warning for a range of 315 km for the period between 16th to 18th November, which could be the maiden test of 350 km range route from to air launched new generation anti-radiation missile. Thank <laughs> you.